Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's another day, it's another vlog, it's another Tuesday with the giraffe's life. Um, if you've never been here before, my name is Hannah and I make lifestyle and travel videos. And today is gonna be another explore London with me because we are still in the middle of no traveling really being possible. I have the day off, so I thought I'd go explore a little bit of London. I'm gonna go take some photos for a couple of blog posts that I have coming up. I will have my blog linked below. I have a series coming up about living and being in London on a budget. So that is what we're gonna be doing a two day before getting into running around London like a lunatic. I'm gonna go to a place which is like top ranked in London for like their breakfast and it's called Regency Cafe. So I'm gonna go there and have some breakfast, probably like a full English, I haven't decided yet. As you can see, I am absolutely devouring this breakfast. Beautiful, and it's only 6 75 You get two pieces of toast, two bacons, a sausage, beans, and an egg. Now it's St. Jesus Park to see some pictures, and oh my god, that breakfast was amazing. And I really liked how they like put up social distancing markings and like the plexiglass and stuff like that. So even though I forgot to wear my mask and no one else was wearing a mask, it did feel really, really safe and clean and everything like that and it was only 6.75 for that breakfast which was amazing so if you're ever in the westminster area regency cafe is the one to go but yeah i'm just in st james's park to take some pictures for my blog post and then i'm gonna head to wards like tower bridge it's gonna be a long walk today but i've got nothing else to do so might as well just walk That was pretty cool. There was a bunch of people with like nuts and apples and stuff and the parakeets come and super friendly come and sit down. I did have a pigeon sit on my shoulder though and I really do not like pigeons so that was kind of weird. I got some really freaking cool photos of the birds and the squirrel. It was cool. So now I'm just gonna continue walking through Green Park. Go towards St. Dunstan of the East because that's also a pretty darn cool place to take pictures and just hang out so that's where I'm going now and I'm really really full from that breakfast but there's so many squirrels like here's a squirrel oh it's coming towards me I don't like these squirrels they're like too people friendly like they will come up and it feels like they're gonna like pounce on you and attack you so the minute a squirrel spots me I'm just going the other way because I don't want to be attacked by squirrel no thank you Dunstan of the East. It used to be a church, or it still like kind of is a church. It's got the church tower there. But it was essentially destroyed in the Second World War with the bombings, and now it's just like these beautiful grounds, and it's all like grown into like it's a really beautiful little garden, and it's stunning. I really want to come here and do like a proper photo shoot with someone because it's like perfectly framed. Everything is so beautiful. And yeah, I just really want some cool photos. Like imagine like a photo shoot in this corner here 
or a photo shoot here. But yeah, if you live in London and you want to have some cool photos taken, hit me up, uh, leave a comment down below or go to my Instagram, the giraffe's life underscore and we will organize something because this is a freaking cool place for a photo shoot. So there we have it, St. Dunstan of the East. Um, it's just on St. Dunstan's Hill, and then I think it was St. Dunstan's Lane. But essentially, just up here is Tower Hill, I believe. And then there's just the main road. And you can kind of see, you can see the shard. There's the shard. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk now. I I was taking some pictures, I was doing like a little photo shoot and my cam my phone fell over and now it's got like a little crack at the bottom which you obviously can't see just right there Here you have it again and I'm just gonna continue walking towards Tower Bridge uh, see what happens I have no battery left on my big camera so no more photos even though I was on a photo mission I just took too many pictures and videos of those squirrels and the parakeets um, oh well Tower London now another touristy attraction I don't know why but I always end up walking to like the most touristy attractions but I think it's just because London is so touristy like even if you live here you end up going to all these like super touristy places the thing is though but they're stunning, like these places are freaking amazing. But the funniest thing I've seen today, big lawn. I have a little robot grass lawnmower. I thought that was the most fun thing I've seen all day. Just like this really old fortress castle thing. And then they have just this, this lawnmower just going at it all on its own, programmed to cut this entire grass. The Tower of London, and then we just have Tower Bridge on the other side. Again, you can see the shard, and I have about 6K, 7K to walk back home, and it is currently, it's only half past one, so that's not too bad. Um, but it's nice to just like walk around, I'm not even listening to music anymore, and just like stop everywhere you want to stop, and just like enjoy. And can we just note how I've lived in London almost two years. I've been to London every single year since 2000 and 15? No, 2011, 2012. So I've been to London every single year for eight years and I've never been inside the Tower of London. in Borough Market now and not a lot of people are wearing masks but I feel there's too many people in too in a closed area to not wear a mask so that's what I'm doing. Also I'm not actually eat, buying anything here I just came in here to take some pictures for my vlog but my camera's dead so I don't feel like I'm getting the right pictures. I'm still really full up from that breakfast I had earlier so I'm just strolling around Borough Market. There are two crows above me, so watch them shit on me while I sit here and enjoy the fruit I just bought. First, we hand sanitize. I also was in Borough Market, and I bought myself some fruit. So now I'm sat here by the Shakespeare's Globe, and I thought I'd have myself a little plum. And 
These birds are gonna shell me, aren't they? I'm scared. Oh, uh, they shell me. I don't dare to sit here anymore. I wanna move. Okay, nothing shit on me, but it felt like it felt like the cake. So where were we? Plum. Kind of sour. Considering I was this close to not doing my workout, I'm very happy and proud of myself that I did it. I haven't washed my hair though, so it's still a little bit gross. But tomorrow I'm gonna wash my sheets after I wake up. So. It don't matter that I'm going to bed with dirty gym workout hair. Um, but the reason I'm doing it is because I'm going to have another workout tomorrow morning before I do anything else. And I thought I don't want to wash my hair twice in like less than 12 hours. So I'm just going to go to bed like this. So yeah, it is currently 20.25. So it's 25 past 8 and I have nothing else planned for now. I just had my dinner, which was very late for dinner. Uh, considering yesterday I went to bed at around this time <laughs> um, but yeah I just thought I'd end the vlog I hope you enjoyed walking and exploring London with me again today and I'll probably be doing the same thing next video so if you want to see more of London and explore this beautiful city with me then make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments down below what you would like me to see or do in London and I can take you with me. I'll see you again next week with a new video. Until then, stay safe out there. Goodbye.